So welcome back to Video Garage today. You're joining me in the dyno cell where we have got this. So this is your standard ST180 manifold. We are gonna be porting this and turning it into the new Voodoo manifold. So basically there's been quite a little bit of conversation online over the past couple of days around uh, manifolds, what benefit that you would gain from them and so on. So we thought, why not put it to the test? Let's make our own. So we've took this out of Elliot's car, which is running a VT330R. We've just took it next door to Turbos, who have kindly offered to do the work on it for us. We're then gonna fit it back to Elliot's car and see what sort of benefits we're gonna get from it. I think what we'll do is we'll go and see Elliot very shortly. We'll get him to run some of like, you know, the technical content surrounding it. And we will also obviously do some dyno testing. So we'll stick it on the dyno before and after with the manifold again most scientific way of seeing how sort of much of a difference we're going to gain from this particular modification so um, make sure you stay tuned we'll go and see Elliot we'll have a look around the workshop and see what's going on and we'll catch you in a minute or so So today, Bing Bong has brought his turd into the workshop so that we can do a little bit of work and test the new Voodoo Manifold. So, uh, Bing Bong is going to come away from his car and he's going to tell us what's going on with it. Right, so what we're doing, I've just took the old manifold off. Uh, what we're doing, we're using the CNC machine next door on the turbo side to ever slightly port out the exhaust manifold holes and the joint to the turbo, um, which I don't know how far we're going with it to be fair. Um, they've gone to about 42 mil um, with the VT, but I've got the earlier one, which isn't quite as big. So we're going to match that up with the new turbo today and see if we get any um, increase in power with it. It's just a test at the minute, so hopefully we'll get something out of it. Okay, that is so much better than last time. So yeah, so as you said before, we've just put the car on the dyno this Here's morning. What I prepared earlier. We've just put. <laughs> We've, uh, we've just put the car on the dyno this morning to see what power it makes, so then obviously we can put the new Manny on, um, run it up again and see what the comparison's going to look like. So, well done to Elliot, because he spoke quite clearly there, bless him. Uh, what we'll do is, we'll get him fitting the manifold onto the car, we'll go and stick it back on the dyno, we'll see if there's any difference again, if there is any difference, how much.
That were good. good. So welcome back to Voodoo Garage. Uh, it seems a bit weird me doing an intro halfway through a video. We left quite late last night because we just finished fitting the manifold, re-dyno testing, filming and so on. As you have just seen in the previous clips, obviously the car initially made 279 at the wheels, which is quite impressive anyway. And to be fair, pretty bang on. It's around about 320, 325 horsepower. We've then gone and stuck the manifold on, which has increased the power all the way up to 289 wheel horsepower so a 10 wheel horsepower increase isn't too bad everyone seems to be quite happy about it and i think in fairness it sort of um, achieved more than we expected initially and what we would have hoped for so yeah brilliant um if you have a look at the graph and the way that it's performed in comparison to beforehand you'll see a massive increase in consistency so we actually ran the car six times back to back and only lost within the region of around about one wheel horsepower and very, very little torque. So again, not only is your power increasing throughout the rev range, but you're also getting a lot more consistency with the power. So um, looks like it's been quite a positive outcome. Uh, we'll leave all the links to this particular item in the web shop in the description below. Make sure you're liking and subscribing to the channel and we'll see you on the next video. Bye bye.